Hello guys and welcome back to another match day vlog on the channel. We're at Nottingham, Nottingham train station. I'm here with Tom, one and only Tom Oxen. How you doing mate? Yeah, not too bad thanks mate, not too bad. Feeling positive today or not? Well or? I, I wasn't for quite a while. I thought we'd get back 5-0. I still yeah. kind of do. I've, I've chucked a few quid on it just in case. But um, the more, the more, the closer we get to the occasion, the more positive I become. So um, yeah, why not? Let's 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 be positive and go two one blues. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I've been thinking two two, but two one maybe blues. Oh, I hope we can win. Mate, five nil blues, maybe. Limbs in the away head. It's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go to the navigation pub now, aren't we? Yeah, have yeah. some have some fun. Go to the nav, get a few drinks, enjoy ourselves, yeah. why not? It's Hopefully away, away meet, days are all about it. Absolutely mate. Hopefully we'll be meeting Doran Tour as well, so that should be a good one. Yeah, it should well. be good. Um done a few previews previews with him in the past. Um, yeah. so yeah, it'd be nice to finally meet him. Be yeah, glad. absolutely. Well guys, we're gonna head to the navigation pub now, so I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was seven about five o'clock. Come on, Jack! Yeah! You yeah! <laughs> <laughs> found it! Ten points! Oh, yeah. really not kill on there. Mr. Doran Tour, you're here. What are okay. you saying for today's game, mate? Easy win. We're back at your place. We're back you today. You've got no loud tailor. So I think I'm going for I'm going for four 0 Forest. Four 0 Forest goal scorers. I'll say Davis because he's got Villa connection. Uh, well, Jerry Lolle loves going past you like If he does start, I hope. And I'll say Johnson, Brendan Johnson will get the yeah. number one. So four 0 Forest. Four 0 Loving it. Thank you, mate. I take, it back, I take it back. We're battering them two 0 now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew, you're here, mate. Nottingham Forest uh, fan. What are you saying for the game today? Three 0 Easy. I don't think you have more than five shots on target today. No Lyle Taylor, no penalty merchant, you know what I mean? We haven't conceded ten in the whole of 2022 yet, so I think to score even one against us today is off the cards. Yeah, you, do you think you're a lot of being a bit too overconfident, maybe? No. No? I think having having that bit of overconfidence is good. It's, it gives us a bit of uh, swag about the club. Uh, other clubs will come here and go, they're in a bit of good form, let's, let's not take them for granted. But we played commentary, you love scoring past 90 minutes. About two shots on target, maybe three. Yeah. You're going 3 0. 3 0. Goal scorers? Keenan Davis double. He, look, he hates the blue. God's sake. <laughs> and uh, James Garner, why not? Well, cheers, mate. No worries. I'm still sticking with you, 5-0 uh, loss. Oh, fuck these up! 2-1 blues, come on! Come on! Fucking come on, please!
over halfway gone in this one goal is um, yeah crazy game since that goal in it Tom really yeah we've had a couple of opportunities but they've been half chances not really much we're not out of the game yet we're, not out of the game yet. we're playing better aren't we yeah, a little bit now before it's sort of better side Taylor, Taylor Richards is about to make oh, oh nearly nearly yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, shot on goal <laughs> yeah. it won't be still one up for a score 32 minutes go As you can see, guys, we're in the second half now, so let's see what we can do. What a save! It's a really good save there, my dear Leverage. Tom, it was a really good save, weren't it? We've criticised him a lot this season, but he's been doing well there, didn't he? Good save, but we're not defending well enough. guys in a really bad way come out Jed Spence slight tackled him looks like he's going to be subbed off uh, he's got a stretch he's going to get stretched off here uh, looks of things and kind of threw him into the come on Tom you got any words for that uh, incident any words mate it's a horrible challenge um, you knew as soon as it happened that Etheridge had got the block of it and to be honest I think it's a really nasty challenge from Jed Spence if Etheridge just happens to go away on Still 1 0 to uh, Forex with about half an hour to go. I'm sure it'll be a fair bit of stuff to try and manage on. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. It's uh, still 1 0 to Forex. That's 2 0 Forest guys with 10 minutes to go. Game match done. Finished. 2 0 Forest got the Kenna. So yeah, that's it for today's game. Uh, yeah. We have played all right and probably don't serve to lose the 2 0, but yeah, it's game over. 10 minutes to the top of 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 the top Right guys here with uh, match day with Max, but Nottingham Forest YouTuber. Yep. Your thoughts on the game overall, mate? Um, yeah, I mean it was a it was a decent result for Forest really. Um, I, I, I was a little bit worried coming into it, considering that we kind of had uh, third game in a week syndrome. As um, I was just speaking to Steve then, and he, and, he, and he said that to me from a Forest point of view, and I kind of have to agree with him because. I did think in areas we looked a little bit laggy in places, but I just think we had that little bit more quality um, when it came into the final third. But I actually thought our kind of almost final ball was a little bit disappointing today, uh, considering how we played against Coventry uh, and definitely Blackpool last week when we wore 4-1. Uh, 
one four one. But obviously, priority for us now is is promotion. And just spoke to you and you said that you think we can catch Bournemouth in that second spot. So we'll have to see. But another good win for Forest, and um, things are positive at the moment. So all good. Absolutely, mate. Do you reckon you can finish in that second place spot? Um, I do, I do, I do think we have enough about us to catch catch Bournemouth. A lot of people say we're probably the most dangerous team in the league at the moment. I have to agree. I think the cup competitions when we did well in the FA Cup has given us momentum in the league. Um, so yeah, there's no reason why not we can't catch them. We've still got to play them. If not, it's a third, fourth place finish in the playoffs we build. And um, you know, the playoffs is a lottery. Anything can happen. But I am really hopeful this year that Forest go up. Probably the best best team in a while, probably in my lifetime, definitely. Yeah. Well, good luck for the rest of the season, mate. Yeah, much appreciate, mate. Thank you. No worries. Tom, finally getting our trains home now, mate. Your thoughts on today's game, though? Uh, terrible. Anyway, terrible. Uh, I don't really think we were going to get anything from the game at any point. Um, there were a few players that played alright. I thought Maxime Collins had a good game today. First game, a good game for him in a while, like, to be honest. Um, but overall, I think we all expected to lose, and that was the outcome. So I'm, I'm not really shocked, but I just thought we put up a bit more fight. Like, obviously, you can say we matched them, but that's all we did. Like. I mean, first half we matched them, I thought second half they deserved it. I think maybe 2 0 a bit harsh, maybe 1 0 maybe was a fairer. I don't think Forrest are that good, but you know, that's. That's Steve Cooper's style, it's not pretty football, it just gets you across the line. And that's, that's what Blues used to be and it's what we need again. Yeah. I don't know. Your thoughts on Forrest? Um, <laughs> I, 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 I've been really harsh after the game, yeah. But after, after a, a few moments of sleep on the train and consolidating the result, it, you know, I, I'm not being a salty anymore, but you know, it, it, you look at the club, it should be in the Prem, but I'm still going to be salty and say it's smaller than Derby County, so there you go. And I'm sure when we lose to Derby next, I'll say that they're smaller than Forest, so there we are. Uh, that's just me being a fickle football fan, but there you go. Yeah, yeah, guys, that's everything. Forest away, another ground tip top for this season. Only one more away day to go. Cardiff away. Yeah, yeah. Until next time, guys, catch you in a bit. Villa lost 4 0. Shit on the floor. Get in. But yeah, see you a bit, guys, and keep riding on.